38 years old, had a heart attack and died just like that. 38 years old. A lot of these people do not understand because they pump a lot of hormones and the hormones bind with a lot of that toxicity. Gives them a lot of energy so they have no idea how unhealthy they are or what's happening in their body. So even those people don't get by without a problem. And if you look at the other animals in nature, and all creatures in, in nature live seven times the time it takes them to finish maturation. For us, that's 21 years. Approximately 21 years. So we should be living to 147 years old, right? So if we're dropping dead at 65, 70 years old, that's less than half of your lifetime. Why is that happening? We know that in their research and writings that there are people that live to 150 years, even in most recent times. In Georgia, Russia, I remember an article, I think it was the February 1971 issue in National Geographic. They were interviewing these people from Georgia, Russia, who mainly lived at that time on raw dairy products and meats, and a lot of it was raw. And, and they were living... You know, a couple that was together for 74 years. They got married in late in life. They were in the 60s when they got married. They were living 138. She was 138. He was 142. You know, and there were a numerous people who were living that long, 150 years old. That should be our ideal, <clears throat> or the extended of what. Um, mathematically according to other creatures in nature live that's where we should be living to uh, about 150 years old if you're not then you're not living to your health potential lifespan a lot of people say well I'd rather live a short life than an exciting life hey that's your choice and I have no judgment against that I'm just here giving people an idea of what their health potential is. Now, I'm a 100% raw fooder. You know? So we can have whatever we want. I'm here to just show you the potential, to show you how to get there if you want it, you want to improve it, you want to extend your life, make your life healthier and better and happier now, fine. If you want to live a short life, that's okay too. I've got no problem with that. But just our potential should be 150, approximately 150 years old. So if we're living half of that or less than half of that, there is a reason for that and know what it is. Okay, be aware of what it is. So when you're getting old and you're getting feeble, you'll know why you got there. <laughs> Well, this is not health when you have to walk like this. It's not health. Those are not live, healthy cells propelling the body that way to allow the to allow it to function and behave that way. So um, know that pollution is the reason for probably all diseases. Very few would be the the poisonous things that can be poisonous to certain or, uh, organisms out in nature. Just know what they are and stay away from them. The tribes did. And we are 99% bacteria. You'll blame everybody for your diseases. But all diseases, all diseases come from industrial pollution. Period. They don't like that, uh, you know, I'm taking their, their control out of their hands when it belongs in the people anyway. We should have the right to choose what we want to eat. Well, you know, that's healthy food.